Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I haven't vlogged in more than a week and it felt really good because my voice wasn't as good as this before this. It only got better two days ago. Mm -hmm. Before this, I wasn't speaking in my real voice. I was using the fake voice because I didn't want to stress out the vocal box. I like how I literally just started this vlog and hitting you with some really serious stuff. Yeah, because the operation was did like around here. So the vocal box was there. So that was why the doctor told me to not speak too loudly. But now I can like um, use a bit more of my real voice. Anyway, today is Sunday. I thought I would just do like a, like a short vlog just to update you. I cannot turn my head. <laughs> Before this, it was really, I was really stiff. Like I didn't dare to move around because it just felt really tight here. And after I took out my bandage, right, I could literally feel the stitches and that my neck is being held together by stitches. Every time I turn this way, I can feel the stitches pulling me back here. <laughs> The doctor told me to move around and not to like just stay at one position. Some of you asked me to not move around. But you know what? My mom said if you don't move around, the stitches is like um, static over here at this point. So next time when you want to move, it's like stiff right there. So you can't move. I was like, ah, okay, I'll move. I can't believe that the surgery is now over. It's been more than a week. It's crazy, right? And also, I can't tell you how great I have been feeling now. I think the last time I cried was literally a week ago. Before my surgery, right, like the week building up to it, leading up to the surgery, like the few weeks before that, I honestly cried so much. Not only because of the surgery, but because how it made me feel emotionally and made me feel very sensitive towards other things. So I was really sensitive like a few weeks ago. I mean, last week. I haven't cried in so long and I feel like the storm that had been above me for the past few weeks has now been blown away. I just feel so good now. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, before that, I just want to tell you what went on with me. I mean, what happened after I was pushed into like, you know, pushed away from my friend and family. When they pushed me in, I was like, shit, this is not gonna be good. I was so nervous. Even after I put on my surgery, I was actually really nervous. Very happy, laughing, making jokes. But inside, I was like, shit. I was just trying to laugh it off. Mm -hmm. But I was just so nervous. My finger kept playing with the blanket because I was so nervous. So after they pushed me inside the door, where I say the part, the door is like the drama thing. Yeah, after that, right? They just kept pushing me along this corridor thing. And then my anesthetology. What is that? Anesthetic, uh, anesthetologist, I don't know what is it called. I was so nervous, but luckily he came around and he was like, don't worry, nothing is gonna happen, you know? No, nothing to worry about. And honestly, that few sentences that he said made me feel so good. I just needed someone to say that. I needed someone professional to tell me that. The nervousness was building up that I feel like my heart can literally pop out. <laughs> but after he said that few sentences, right, I immediately felt so so good. I'm just so thankful that he was there. When I reached the surgery waiting area, oh my god, my hair is so bad. When I reached the waiting area, they transferred me to a another bed. I had to move myself lah, they kind of carry me. So I moved there and then they put me in this area to wait for my surgery. It felt like ages. It honestly felt like ages. I was like, can this please just end now? I was just lying on the bed, waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and kept waiting. There were so many thoughts in my head like, how am I gonna feel when I wake up? How will it be when I felt like when I fall asleep like how are they gonna put me asleep how will I feel and when I wake up will it be painful will I feel the stitches there were so many thoughts running through my mind my mind just couldn't stop thinking and worrying it was so stressful I was just hoping like can this place just end already it was so stressful this was much more stressful than the thought of going through the surgery itself I was just lying there and I couldn't do anything and I just kept waiting and waiting and I fall and I fell asleep then they were me up and they were they pushed me into the surgery room by then i was like 
Am I not supposed to be already sleeping? Like they pushed me in the surgery room. I saw the lights. I was like, oh my gosh, should I be like fainting already? Why am I still awake? And then they transferred me to the surgery bed. It was really cold in the room. It was so cold and I got even more nervous. There were other like surgeon helpers. I don't know what do you call them. Yeah, they had the cap on. They were putting... <laughs> <laughs> Their girls was like shit. It was so scary. It was as though I was in a movie and the evil people, the evil person are gonna like kill me or something. And then the anesthetologist is the person that puts you to sleep. His name is Dr. Lim. He was there. I felt relieved again. He's like, don't worry. Are you worried? I'm like, yeah. After they transferred me to the bed, right? It was really, really cold. It wasn't like a metal bed. They have like this cushion thing. And they were like, are you cold? And I'm like, yes. And then they warm up the bed. The cushion thing, it felt really warm, then they put blanket. I felt so nice, like it was so good. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is so nice. And then they started putting the chuchot thing in me. They did two. I was like, shit, am I not supposed to be asleep? <laughs> Are they just gonna do it like that? And then they put it in. <laughs> I have two needles in my freaking body. I mean, on my head. I saw my surgeon came. I was like, ah, guys, I'm still awake. <laughs> They put the, you know when you go surgery, right? They have this round thing with wire. They attach it on my body. Then they attach me on my back and the side here. <gasps> I was like, shit, why am I still awake? Honestly, that was the only thing that I was worrying about. And then they were like talking where to dissect me. I was like, mm? <laughs> So my surgeon was telling the helper like, Okay, we're gonna cut here, cut there. And then another nurse came and gave me this oxygen thing. And I inhaled, inhaled. And then, from then onwards, my eyelids felt so heavy. It was like, I was like, ugh, cannot open my eyes. It was so heavy. I tried to fight. I just want to see how it feels like, you know, trying to fight to be awake. My eyes were getting even more heavier. I couldn't open my eyes and everything started to like blur out. And then I hear people waking me up. Like, Miss Wong, Miss Wong, the surgery went really well, yeah? And I'm like, hmm. I could hear what was going on, but I couldn't open my eyes. I was awake, and then I slept back. I was awake, then I slept back. And when they were pushing me into the my room, right, I could, like, open my eyes slightly. I, because Rina was wearing white. So when I opened, I saw, like, a white thing there. <laughs> it was really scary, but yeah, I was like, okay, that's Rina. I could hear everything that was going on. I could hear Rina say, oh my god. I could hear everything, but I just couldn't open my eyes. But yeah, that is my story. No pain at all. You know when I went for the biopsy, when they took a sample, that hurts even more than my freaking surgery. So yeah, no pain at all. It's just that I couldn't talk and there were a lot of phlegm. I was like, why am I having phlegm all of a sudden? <laughs> it's because they did the surgery here, so when they put things inside my throat, right, so the phlegm, like, I don't know lah. I still have the bruise where they took my blood test. Yeah, and I also have a bruise here. And this is the stitches. A part of me is very sad that it's there, but a part of me makes me feel like a badass also. Like, yo, I've got a freaking scar here. I'm tough, I'm strong. Maybe now it looks like really bad because there's still like the... the... the benang. <laughs> also, I wanna know, where does the benang goes? Does it goes into my body or does it come out? Where is it going? So yeah, if you wanna take a closer look, it's like this now. These are to make the stitches stick together. <laughs> and it will fall off eventually. The ones here fell off. It really looks like a Halloween makeup, right? Oh my god, it looks like I mean those horror movie where my neck got taken out and I stitch it back. <laughs> huh? But yeah, lo, like that lo. Oh, I don't know what to say. I also need to have my blood test taken on the sixth week after my surgery to check whether is my thyroid hormones okay can my right thyroid gland function and support the absence of my left thyroid gland literally i'm now incomplete my body is not complete there's a side of my gland that is gone i'm incomplete <laughs> can you imagine it like i can't feel it but inside there's a part of me that is gone can you imagine just imagine it it's so crazy but yeah, I'm done with my talking now. I have been talking for like 15 minutes. Also, my mom washed my pillow. She threw the whole thing into the washing machine, which she shouldn't have done. She should just wash this outer cover. So now my whole pillow has like shrunk. Look, it's so flat. It's not fluffy anymore. Look. 
what I really learned from this whole surgery thing and my whole situation, I got to know who are the ones that are really there for me, who are the ones that really care for me. Like there are some friends that came and visited me and then my babysitter, I mean my babysitter from my childhood days, she also came and visited me which was so good, I haven't seen her in ages. V not came obviously, he came and my senior Celine came and I'm also really grateful for V not Like the past month where that is like the worst month of my life, <laughs> not my life lah, I mean so far. He was just there for me. At least I have someone to spill everything out to. If I just keep everything to myself, I feel like it will be so much more difficult. I will literally burst. I, I'm the type of person that needs someone to listen. It doesn't have to be many, it just has to be one person. Yeah, just one person. <laughs> it also shows me that I have such a good friend like him. Mm. We're just gonna watch this and like tear. <laughs> And then he's gonna text me like, oh, how much? Also, a lot of you now know my full name. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go downstairs now. I have been watching The 100. And I'm now like, oh my god, my, my shoe. <laughs> also, I had been like, not wearing bras for one week and it feels so good. What I wanted to say? Oh, I finished one season in like two days crazy with season four i'm trying to pace out more two episodes a day <laughs> i'm trying to pace it out yeah oh okay uh. also my grandma from germany she's back now so we're gonna go visit her at my relative house i am gonna go downstairs and edit this part of the vlog because it will take me so long and i want to upload it like maybe tomorrow yeah also, I'm really craving for burgers. So we actually bought this like trio steamer thing through CJ Wow Shop again. My dad really wanted to get a steamer and then when he saw this, he was like, you know, perfect timing. We also stick this here. <laughs> Huge capacity food steamer. And we literally have been steaming everything with it. I literally just dump everything in there and steam. And now I'm actually about to make lunch. I'm gonna make oats and I'm gonna steam it again because I don't have to wash. So yeah, life definitely made easier ouch mm -hmm. i also bought like some quick oats although i really need to get roll oats this is my last batch of roll oats so i need to get some Ugh. they actually went to tesco just now and i also restocked some soy milk and when they ran out they actually bought some this whole wheat soft bun I'm so excited and also some red bean buns I have been loving red bean buns I actually don't really like red bean before this but after my surgery right my babysitter she bought some red bean buns for me and it's like to help with the blood circulatory system or whatever and there's also some mantau here made with sweet potato so I'm so excited oh I actually need to take some kway it's so bad the focus so yeah, I'm gonna take this. Oh, the, oh my god. <laughs> Black thing. It's gonna set for 10 minutes. And then we wait. Also, Blackpink was performing yesterday in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> and I was just looking at those Twitter posts original price was around 400 something and we got it for 200 something through the website CJ Wow Shop. We officially bought three items from CJ Wow Shop. The steamer, the oven and the food blender thing. Ever since we got the steamer right, we have not been using the oven or the stove. <laughs> Literally dump everything in there. Steam rice, even the rice cooker is not here anymore, look. My mom immediately put away the rice cooker and I was like, do we still need the rice cooker? Might as well give it to someone. So we don't have to worry that she might pour in the pot again. Yeah, and steamed rice, oh my gosh, they are so good. I don't know how, I don't know why, but they are just so much more nicer to eat. And it also makes washing so much easier. It doesn't stick to the pot thingy if you compare to cooking rice in the rice cooker. Steam rice makes washing so much easier. Mm -hmm. And there's also lesser wastage, rice wastage. Also when this is done right, it will like ding like the oven and it's pretty loud. 
so I like it. So I was just watching this McDonald advertisement, the chicken ah, chicken ah thing, and <laughs> and it reminds me of my high school days, specifically during from one and from two because I was I always used the word chicken ah, like chicken ah, chicken ah, chicken ah. <laughs> that was literally all I say. It was literally my word, like the whole class knew the word as my word. I would literally just say chicken ah, chicken. I don't know how, I don't know how the word became a thing, but it just did. It was like my F word to everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting for my oats. <laughs> oh, the picture is still dead. Look at it. I just give up with it. I give up. Hmm? <laughs> also, my hair is long. Look. Should I grow it? But I quite like my short hair. I like how this person cut my hair. I never once used a hair straightener or anything. After I shower, right, it will immediately, I mean after it's like, you know, dry, it will like curve in like so nice. I don't know how she cut it. But I never used any hair straightener at all. Like never. At the back, it does get like, like that. Like that. Yeah, it's currently 11.48 and I'm watching some YouTube video while I wait for my oatmeal. I'm sorry if it's shaky. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, anyone that has a smelly pillow and you just sniff it like... Ah. <laughs> so good. Also, I don't recommend anyone to hold my pillow because you see all these four corners here? You know what I do with them? I will poke it into my nose and I'll just sit here and sniff it. Literally. <laughs> like every corner, just like that. Now I'll watch my video. <laughs> I love tickling. <laughs> Look at it. Beauty. <laughs> I'm bored. Can you tell that I haven't like spoken this much in a week? Mm hmm? Okay, bye. I also had been drinking this Barocca Vitamin C Like you just pop it into your drink mm -hmm. Because after surgery right, you need to have a lot of Vitamin C to rebuild your collagen And then... Can you hear? Content! This is quality content! <laughs> <laughs> this is the oatmeal. I think that I don't really like is that the texture is like completely hancho. Look, but still, I don't have to wash the pot later. There's so much oats here. I'm so happy. I cook a little bit more. Also added protein powder. <sighs> Bye. I'm gonna watch the hundred now, and I'll catch up with you later. So after several hours of editing, it is currently almost 5 p.m. I literally just finished editing till the clip before this and it took me almost three hours. Yes, editing is not easy. It doesn't just like that okay it takes time <laughs> my whole backbone hurts my neck hurts my shoulder hurts so now i'm just trying to lay down for a while yeah i just showered i haven't stepped out of this door in like 10 days not even kidding let me show you what i will be having for dinner because they're actually gonna tap out and then have dinner at my relative house i'm currently avoiding food that contain peanut because peanut is very very poisonous especially if you have scars right it's best to like avoid peanuts soy sauce or dark sauce as i've said dark food we chinese believe that soy sauce and like those dark colored food will leave will make your scar go dark <laughs> I know right? Yeah, but it's a belief and I wouldn't want to take the risk either So I'll just avoid it and most Chinese food contains like soy sauce and whatsoever so Yeah, my mom actually made me some fish porridge fish is apparently good for You know after surgery and stuff uh, you, 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 my baby, baby. 
my dinner. They actually haven't eaten yet, but I was already really hungry. And I came here and I saw my favorite 100 plus. So I'm gonna drink some. If only I can eat peanuts. Look at this. <laughs> Look. And there's like pistachio. I don't really, I don't like this type of peanut. They make me headache and they make me want to vomit so I don't... I don't... Oh my god. editing this vlog and I realized that I didn't end the vlog yesterday so I thought I would just jump in and end the vlog. We literally spent the whole night of yesterday watching The Nanny. It's like a British comedy. Is it comedy? It's very funny though. So we literally spent the whole night watching it. It was it literally played from episode to episode. It was like never ending. It was like a loop. Yeah it was just so nice, so funny, so entertaining. <laughs> I don't know, it's nice that, you know, I can now understand adult jokes. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!